Hey hey everyone, welcome back to my Minecraft adventure. As you can see I'm starting fresh in a brand new world and today I want to share with you why I decided to leave my old world behind. It's time for something new. It's time to start a Minecraft world I've always wanted. I've updated my game to version 1.20, I've updated all the mods to the newest versions, so I've got the new news create mod, I've got all the new mods, but that's not the sole reason I'm starting over. The main reason I'm starting over is, I really dislike my building choices and how it forced me to play. Don't get me wrong, my old world was fantastic. I had some epic builds and farms, but something was missing. Today we're starting our new adventure in this peaceful village on the savannah plains. But I've been thinking, it's time for a change. It's time to build our own place from the ground up. So I've decided to explore the vast terrain this world has to offer. We'll find the perfect spot to call home and build our first house. Join me on this journey as we venture out, seeking a place where we can truly thrive. I want to find an area that speaks to my Minecraft soul. So I started my journey to find a new place to live. I sailed between savanna cliffs, which were really pretty, but not really easy accessible, so I'm not gonna build there at the moment, maybe in a later stage. After some time, I found a place that didn't have a lot of vegetation. It was reasonably flat, so it could be a good building spot. But after a bit of looking around, I decided against it. I mean, it was flat, there wasn't a lot of vegetation, but it wasn't the prettiest. So on I went. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Oh man, this is so cool. I think I found my base spot. I think this is it guys. I think this is my future base spot. This is so insanely pretty. So I found a really cool crater surrounded by stony peaks. There wasn't a lot of flat ground to build on, so building a house was going to be a bit of a challenge. But this place is way too pretty to ignore. So this is it guys, this room gonna settle down. I'm glad I found my spot and it didn't take two weeks to find something. So I've got the basics like a bed, a chest and a workbench set up. Now I've been messing around with the create mod a bit. I tried to crush some wheat and trying to crush some ferns, but then I heard an all too familiar sound. Oh my god, oh my god, oh I'm not prepared for this at all, oh no, oh damn. Run, 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 run. I just ate my last piece of bread and I'm all out of food now. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to grab some vegetables from my garden and I hope that will be enough. Oh no, help, help! Oh man, are you kidding? Half my farm gone? Oh man! Bit of an unlucky day. Ooh, gotta be careful here. Don't wanna die. Yeah, one more shot. And I got him, finally. With that out of the way, it was time to focus on my new house. So I'm gonna gather all the materials and then we can get started on the build. Materials I need the most of are deep slate, spruce wood, clay for the door blocks and the sakura logs. Need about six stacks of deep slate blocks. And since mining by hand with my iron pickaxe would take way too long, I'll make a little drill machine. Wouldn't be anything special, just a few drills and a minecart will do the trick. I need to lay the rails down by hand because I didn't have any brass to make deployers. But that wouldn't be much of a problem. It would be way easier than trying to mine this all by hand. With the deep slate out of the way, it was time to focus on collecting wood. I need about four and a half stacks of secure logs. I planted a lot of them in the crater, so it wouldn't be much of a problem. And since I'm a bit of a hoarder, I already had a spruce sapling. So it was real easy to get some spruce wood. Next up on the list was clay. I would need clay to make door blocks. And I would need a lot of clay. I did some rough calculations. I would need about 10 to 12 stacks of clay balls. 
yeah, like I said, rough calculations. So my plan was to find the nearest river and just row. Until I had more than enough. Better be safe than sorry. It went a lot quicker than I expected. There was a lot of clay to be found in, the, in these rivers. All in all, I think it took me about 30 minutes to gather all the clay. When I finally had all the clay collected, I decided to do a little bit of exploring, since I was already away from home. I came across one of these dark forests that held a lot of mushrooms. I collected a ton of them to make some mushroom stew. It makes for a really easy food. And because I'm using mods, it stacks to 16, so no hassle. And with terrain generation also being modded, this means I would find a lot of these really cool caverns. This, this cavern it goes so insanely deep, you can almost see the deep slate from here. This is really cool. And combine that with all these structures these mods add, you get a totally different landscape compared to vanilla Minecraft. It's way more filled in, and okay, it's way more dangerous if you go into these structures. So this structure right here that's in the sky, yeah, I'm gonna leave it for, for now because I do not want to get my ass kicked today. Jesus Christ, I got attacked again. Come on. Alright. Ah, so, with that out of the way, it was time to go back to building. Uh, we need about four and a half stacks of strip logs. And I didn't feel like stripping them all by hand, so I decided to make a small create machine to do it for me. But to automate this I would need some belts and I would need and to make those belts I would need kelp. But I wasn't close to any water here. So I teleported to a village and too late I found out I screwed up big time. No 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 oh no oh I no no no. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. God! Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Why is he holding Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh! Oh! I don't know what you are, but you're trouble. I know you're trouble. Come here. Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> Just my hat sticking out the ground. <laughs> At this point in time, I figured I would go back to my orig original plan of getting kelp and getting started on my build. I knew if I stayed to finish this raid, I would get my ass handed to me multiple times and I didn't really feel, feel like doing that. So I got on our way looking for an ocean. I sailed over some rivers, crossed some frozen rivers, but ultimately I found an ocean with some kelp. Now it was time to get back home and continue my build. And preferably not get distracted again. So I got back home and I started immediately with building a small contraption to make strip logs. After some messing around I came to the conclusion that it didn't really work how, how I wanted it. It wouldn't strip my logs. It's probably because it isn't a vanilla wood type. So sadly I'm gonna have to do them all by hand. Oh well, it's only a few stacks I have to strip. And the view from up here is pretty nice. Alright, let's check our building materials. Okay, got most of the deep slate and most of the wood. The biggest time investment was the daub. I needed a lot of clay and a lot of sticks to make the wattle and the daub blocks. But I really love them in this build. They give a unique rustic look to the building and it fits perfectly between the mountains here. 
Next up was mining some viridium. Since this house was going to be mostly made out of wood, I wanted to use a contrasting color. Luckily I already had about 2 stacks of viridium, so I had to get about 2.5 stacks more. So that was a quick and easy job. After I came back from the mines, I got ready to get to bed. Tomorrow would be a busy day building my new house. Just as I was about to go to sleep, I saw I had some company. Again. Luckily they weren't too close, so I got a bit farther away and I watched them leave. After which I could finally get to bed. Alright, the moment has finally arrived. Finally time to build my first house here. And this is the spot I'm gonna build it at. It's almost gonna touch the mountainside. I want it to look like it's built half into the mountain. After this build is finished, I'm gonna need to do some terraforming to make everything fit better. But let's not worry about that right now. I'm really happy with how fast the collecting of materials went. There have been times where it took me weeks to collect everything because I made a very dumb decision on using some very rare material. But that's not the case now. So lean back and enjoy my time lapse. And that's it, it's finished, it's finally done. Looks a bit like a house you would find in the Swiss Alps. Yeah, that was totally intentional of course. And I did my best to make it as big as possible, so I have enough space for the, for the time being. I love the way this building looks here. There are a few things I need to change, like the stairs and the slabs that got a bit borked, but that's alright. So next step is terraforming under the house, because right now it's floating a bit. I'm back here at my old base, this is a small village that I uh, started my adventure in. I'm gonna try to take some dirt off the top here. I don't want to leave a big, a big mess, but I'm gonna need at least f 5 or 6 stacks, so uh, I'll be busy for a while. So I'm back at my base with my 10 stacks of dirt, and I'm gonna get to terraforming. I do have a question for you. Right now I'm just naming this, this place The Crater because, well, that's where my imagination runs out. If you know of a cool name for this place, let me know down in the comments. Now let's get to terraforming. So as expected I ran out of dirt again, I'm gonna shovel some more dirt and then I'm gonna finish this because I'm halfway done. Got about 7 stacks of dirt and I left the landscape not, in not too bad of a shape. I mean the hill is gone but it still looks okay. So back to terraforming. Alright, I've got the rough shape finished. I mean, it's a pile of dirt, but it's a pretty pile of dirt. Next time is doing some work on the pot and maybe this, the surrounding edges. To really connect it into the landscape. But as far as the hill goes, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. This is the perfect night to show you my place. 
I mean, look at this. This is just a perfect night. I'm so glad I settled here. The pad I built out of something called stone stone tiles. I did make a recording of it, but I got it got a bit bored, so I'm ju just going to show you the finished product. Made it down to here so we can reach the farm, and I got a little waterfall here. Most of it is just quickly put together, so I got at least a half decent stairs. So here we are in my little reading corner. About 99% of the interior done. There are a few few minor things I like to do, but for now I'm finished with building. Got the enchantment table here. Got a little reading hook. And a few tables where you can sit and have a drink. This is a bit of a continuation of what I have outside. I'll show you that in a minute. Downstairs, we've got our kitchen. From an ugly looking storage space. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with this. I might just leave it like this or try to hide it in some way. Here's my potion brewer. And here behind these doors, this is where the magic happens. At least to create more magic. A few simple tools I need. We've got our mixer to mix the andesite alloy. And here we got our pr a mechanical press to punch down the ingots. And a millstone I hardly ever use. And on the outside, I got two guests waiting already. I'll be with you in a second, guys. Just gotta show my audience the rest of my build. I love that they stay on their seats. Everything I had over there, I moved inside. It's a bit of a mess over here, and I pre did it up a bit. I'm still a bit in awe how far how fast everything came together. I mean the build, terraforming, yeah everything went pretty well and it looks great. I'm really glad I set it here in the crater. This is one of the best spots I've ever found in the Minecraft map. And I found it so I found it so quick and yeah, I'm really happy with this place. Between episodes I'm planning on doing some mining and some farming. My idea is to make a build every episode. So you got something to look forward to. So I'm gonna enjoy the view here. I'm gonna leave you with this episode. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.